You I helped Beauclair. Let's go, Regent.
Damn, you're ugly. Get somewhere? Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. Chaos in the city. Know what's going on? Naturally. It's rather irritating. Need to uh, see your unseen. Convince him to stop Detlaf. Heard you could help me with that. <laughs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you. There are simpler ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed. But to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter, then we'll talk. Oriana, I don't have time for that. Folk are dying and... And I'm about to mount my horse, so either ride with me or finish this moving monologue alone. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. O an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Let's go. Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. What happened? Where's Arno? Speak! Shh! shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster will go, come! Easy, little man. You're safe now. your time I, I woke up because of the bells then the screams I pulled the quilt over my head 
so I wouldn't hear. But they were so loud. And something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then Uncle Arno came and said, Sit quiet, real quiet. Shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them, and ran away. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me. We hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, 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 held her long, till she stopped. You mean to say you... Drop it. Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife, for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice, and the monster wouldn't come, but it did. It came. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head, and I'll help you with the unseen. Fine. See if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on, get to work. Come, little one. I'll sing to you. Wolves asleep in midst the trees, bats all are swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all manner. Ghouls, hags, and wraiths. Stomach wall cut open in three places. Damaged organs, arteries. Beast killed the children but didn't eat them. Something scare it off? Or grab its attention? Smashed against the wall. Skull cracked. Died immediately. Shoulder and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Claw marks. Sharp, hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Throat ripped open. Larynx crushed. Blood hasn't even dried. <laughs> 